Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, Craig at Hiking Pipes. And this could be a little bit of a longer video. Um, I had initially wanted to uh, do a first impression on a tobacco, but as I was making my way out to the front porch on my lunch break here, there were two packages, and I think I know where they came from, so I got a couple yabos to do in conjunction with this. So, uh... A little eventful, but let's get on to the tobacco, and uh, I'll try to do some cutting in and out to make this a little bit shorter. So, this is my Jason Mouton Lavat type. He did an incredibly unbelievable job with this. This is an incredible smoker. It has a fossilized whale spine in the band. And it's a slightly bigger Levat, uh, as far as weight is concerned. It's about 47 grams or so. Um, the, he did a sandblast um, for the rustication. Got some really nice bird's eye on the rim. And it just smokes unbelievable. Um, I've already ran a number of bowls through it. And when I was talking with Jason... Uh, just, you know, shooting the stuff going back and forth. I did ask him what, uh, what is his favorite tobacco? And he said his, one of his favorites, if not his top, is Capstan Gold. So I never had Capstan Gold, and so we talked about that a little bit. And he was kind enough when he sent me the pipe. He sent a few flakes along uh, with the pipe. And uh, it's dated as December 2021 on the baggie he sent. I've had this in a, uh, in a jar. Uh, and I'm going to do a first impression of what I think of it. I haven't, uh, I haven't cracked this uh, tin off at all. And hopefully my neighbor's lawnmower uh, is not uh, too disturbing for us uh, as I try to get through this. So, <laughs> anyway... Let's uh, take a smell. Oh, okay. Very citrusy. Uh, I get a lot of citrus uh, from this. Uh, almost grapefruitish like, I think, is uh, the best way. I wouldn't say it's uh, orange or lemon. It smells more grapefruit-like. And uh, we'll take a look at one of these flakes here. Very nice flake, has little flecks of very light tobacco to it, and uh, yeah, we could see su very sunny day out here. Very nice day. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a little more durable than a typical McBaron flake. Um, not as heavy as a Peterson flake. But uh, I tell you what, I'm going to get this, uh, this guy stuffed up, and uh, we'll start smoking, and we'll see where, uh, what I think of this stuff. So uh, just hold on. I'm going to press pause and uh, be right back. Okay, so I stuffed about a, uh, a flake and a quarter into this bowl. You can see it's a, quite a deep bowl. It will hold, uh, hold a good amount of tobacco. But again, I put about a flake and a quarter into here. And we're going to give it its first uh, light up and see uh, see how it goes. All right, that's the char light. I'm just going to give it a little tamp down, and uh, then we'll give it a full light. Didn't really get any uh, anything significant on the char light. Oh, very citrusy. Very, very citrusy.
Yeah, it's a very tart, um, a very tart tobacco, I think. I'm getting a lot of that citrus on the retro. And I, I stand by my first kind of thought when I did uh, smell it in the uh, bag. It does tend to lean towards a grapefruity type of citrus. You know, in that kind of, it's a very bright tobacco, which uh, Jason had mentioned to me, which is why I kind of waited uh, for today to give it its first uh, smoke because uh, I wanted to wait for a nice day, bright day. I thought it'd just be more conducive to this type of tobacco. So, yeah, very, very tart and uh, Again, I keep using the word citrusy. Uh, that's the best word I can do it. I'm not getting a, I'm getting a little bit of the hay flavor. I'm not getting a deep flavor in my mouth. Yeah, most of, I think, the flavor I'm getting is more in the back where the nasal passages come in contact with the uh, top of the mouth in the back. I think that's where I'm getting most of my flavor from. I can see enjoying this. Um, it, this is probably a really good warm weather tobacco. Uh, I know I tend not to buy into the um, paradigm of certain tobaccos for certain times of years, uh, for certain time of year, I should say. But uh, this one might might be one that I could say, you know what, this really lends itself more towards a warmer weather type of tobacco. Yeah, I, I, I like it. It, I guess I, I'm gonna have to smoke it a little bit more to really get a full appreciation of it. But for first impression, um, not bad. Yes, yeah, so I'm making my way into it a little bit. The initial tartness, sourness, that's subsided. Okay. Yeah, it that uh, that hard citrus is uh, is mellowing, which is good. That can that did concern me a little bit. Yeah, it's mellowing down. Um, interesting. So I tell you what, I'm going to take another pause and uh, I'm going to continue to smoke this and uh, come back with a few final initial impression thoughts. So again, stay tuned. Be right back. Okay, so I've been uh, about halfway through the bowl. And yes, that initial hard citrus hit at the first uh, lightings, just that's mellowed all the way down. Um, like I said, I was a little... Uh, a little put off by that um, that hard citrus, but now it's really calmed down and it's actually quite good. Um, I'm able to detect the sweetness of the Virginia, and it's taking on a slightly uh, now that the citrus has gone down, it's taking on kind of a more of a, a you know the hay like. Um, a deeper hay type of um, taste and uh, experience that Virginians are, are known for, but this is good. Um, the nicotine hit, I'm, 
I'm kind of nicotine sensitive. Um, I found myself, so I can kind of pick up on how that's going to go. Um, nicotine, I think, is very comfortable for me. So that I would have to say it's kind of for the average pipe smoker, experienced pipe smoker, you know, probably, you know, definitely in the lower range. Yeah, I'm, I think I'll like this one. Um, and yes, I still stand by the fact that I think this is uh, more conducive to a uh, warmer weather uh, tobacco. Um, this is one that I will say uh, kind of breaks my train of thought of that you could smoke any tobacco you want at any time of year. And you, you still can. Um, but yeah, I could, I could see this being a, uh, a nice sunny weather uh, tobacco. It goes well. So I'm just going to put this off to the side and get to uh, my mail call. It's actually one box that I'm going to open up. There were two boxes, and I took a closer look at one of the labels, and it happens to be a pair of shoes that I ordered. I'm going to a uh, wedding next week, and I needed a black pair of dress shoes. So that's one of the boxes that came. Um, I'm expecting something else. Um, I'm actually expecting a new pipe rack uh, to, that was handmade uh, by a uh, artisan uh, woodworker. So I thought that that was the box, but it wasn't. But anyway, this is more of a mail call. So with that, uh, we'll just uh, open up this. And uh, this actually came quite quickly. Boy, that's something for the USPS, huh? Comes quick. So, with smoking pipes, lots of uh, paper as usual, with smoking pipes uh, offering up something, well, I couldn't, I, I'm, I took the risk and I decided that I was going to uh, try something. First, I got myself in the, in the order, excuse me, drop one. I got, I really started to like the uh, fourth generation tobaccos. So I got the 1931, which initially I really loved, but the nicotine on it and the garbage man are coming, of course. You know, it never ever fails. That you try to do something like this and you get all this great background noise, right? <laughs> so they're just dumping my garbage into the truck right now and uh, give them a few seconds to pull away. So, yeah, the 1931 kind of initially put me off because uh, it was had a little bit too much nicotine. Uh, the, the uh, 2012 was really nice, but I decided I'm going to give the uh, the 1931 another chance, knowing its characteristics, and I'm going to modify my smoking habits with it because I just really liked it so very, very much. And now we have the dog barking at the neighbor, getting the mail. This goes on and on, folks. Uh, but I'm too far into this to do a retake, and I've already done all this other stuff, so sorry. Anyway, what I got, based upon description from Smoking Pipes, is they were running this edition on the Royal Twist from McBaron. And I read the description, and uh, I think I'm going to like it. And I took a risk. I bought five, I got five tins of this. So after I finish this bowl of the Capstan Gold, this will be my next try. Um, I really like vapors. Uh, this is kind of a vapor. The uh, the monkey wrench that they threw into this one, based upon the description, is there's some dark fired Kentucky in here. So that's going to add a slightly different dimension, I expect. Um, it just still still it sounded really good. It's a limited run. And uh, I figured if I don't like this, um, there's ways and means that I can get rid of the other tins if I don't care for it. So, anyway, that's the mail call. Some uh, seven tins of tobacco, uh, this new uh, McBaron Royal Twist. And uh, I'm going to continue finishing 
my bowl of capstan and uh, with that that's the goings on for a Friday afternoon at lunchtime so uh, hope everybody is well is safe being good to one another we'll talk to you really soon hopefully without all of the other interruptions take care for now bye bye